engraving new symbols to a keyboard with a laser. Now here we have my Japanese MacBook and as you can see there are several symbols that you don't find on a normal Vestana keyboard like this one. With the exception that this one is a Finnish keyboard and this has the strange letters on the right side. Now we are going to use a similar keyboard to this and we are going to go and engrave a new mark on the number one. This thing. And here is the victim and most people can immediately spot the problem which is the column key which doesn't work. We're going to engrave the Japanese NU symbol on the number one the same way that it's on the MacBook Pro. And fail to engrave some other stuff because the laser engraver decided that, you know, I'll just, you know, engrave on the air. And now we have the uh, engraving result. And this is al already pretty good, but depending on the angles that you're looking at, this angle is good, but from straight up, it's hard to see. As we can see here, it's kind of dim. So what we're going to do is we are going to paint it. Since the engraving goes in 0.1 millimeter into the thing, we should be able to paint the engraving and get the paint to stick. And now that the bottom gesso has been applied, we can go ahead and use the actual acrylic paint to do the rest of the job. And now the basic testing has been done to see that the paint no longer is removable. We can see that the white part of the new NU symbol that has been added to the keyboard is pretty much on the same level of luminosity as the other white characters. This, I think, is pretty good. This also means that I no longer need to buy Finnish parts and I can actually use German keyboards if I need to replace a Finnish keyboard and I can just engrave the missing symbols. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.